Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Working Money, getting your money working for you. Now I just wanted to take a quick sec to remind you guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that little bell for new video notifications. And like the videos if you guys like the content I'm providing. And always comment on the videos. I love hearing what you guys have to say. So yesterday, guys, we calculated um, what Ripple XRP could see in the next bull run. And as you know, uh, from yesterday's video, we calculated a $10.51 token. Uh, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, I'll link it in the comments. Uh, please watch it because it'll be very important to watch in order to understand today's video. Okay, so as you know, we calculated average increase of the last four Bitcoin um, increases during the bull runs of the last four bull runs for Bitcoin, okay? And uh, as you can see here, we calculated the numbers and what we did yesterday was we averaged those numbers out and we found that the average increase in a bull run for Bitcoin, because we have the historical data for Bitcoin, uh, was 2,190.25%. Uh, and with using that number with uh, today's price of XRP, which is roughly hovering around 48 cents, um, we saw that uh, the token would be worth $10.51. But what I didn't show you guys was this information. We took into consideration that uh, the price of XRP before the, the bull run up was 48 cents. Now that's in taking into consideration that at this point, you know, 48 cents, the bull run would start right away. Um, but what we didn't calculate, guys, was the ramp up rate. So if we're at 48 cents and that's absolute bottom, we consider that to be an absolute bottom. What is the ramp up rate before the bull run up? So today we're going to average out um, ramp up rates, okay? So what I've done here was calculate the ramp up increases over the last full bull runs as well. So as you can see, we start at 6 cents, went to 75 with an 1150% increase. Uh, early 2012 to early 2013, it was $2 to $13.50 with a 575% increase. Mid 2013 was $85 to $130 for a Bitcoin with a 53% increase. And in late 2017 to early 2018, we saw 225 to $1,000 with a 344% increase for Bitcoin. So now what I did today was I took those numbers and I averaged them out. So as we know, the bullish run increase is still the same, but now the ramp up increase, I've averaged that out too. So we take a look at those numbers. So 1150 plus 575 plus 53 plus 344 divided by four equals a ramp up increase of 530.5%. So if we can all assume that 48 cents is an absolute bottom, as you know, guys, here's the price, here's the price chart for XRP. Um, and 48 cents hovers in a level of support before it kind of shoots up again. So let's assume that this is the absolute bottom level. Uh, it's not going to go straight up from here. It might do something like this before it goes straight up. Okay, so let's go back to the chart or the, the table that I created. And or rather, let's go over here. And now we're assuming that 530.5% is the ramp up increase um, at 48 cents for an XRP, which we're going to consider absolute bottom, okay? So what does that make XRP? If we ramp up a 48 cent XRP by 530.5%, that will now give us a $2.55 token. So, you know, instead of a bull run occurring right away, we're going to see XRP, or rather it's going to be over here, we're going to see XRP meander, you know, up, 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 up until 255 and then we're going to see a bullish increase. So that changes the math quite a bit, right? If we see XRP at $2.55 and now we multiply that by the 2,190.25% increase that we originally calculated for the bullish run increase, we can see an XRP token at $55.85. Now guys, this is math based on historical data. Uh, we're taking a few liberties here. We're assuming that 48 cents is going to be an absolute bottom for XRP. If XRP goes down to something lower, then these numbers will all change. But guys, this is a good indication of what a potential ramp up rate could be. Um, you know, 530% is not unusual, especially for the cryptocurrency market. So what do you guys think of this number? I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Please like, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one, guys.